Hello, and welcome to another Porter's Star Wars uh, action figure review. Today we're going to be looking at Star Wars The Vintage Collection figure number 42 of the Han Solo uh, Yavin Ceremony. You can see a nice picture of the Yavin Ceremony Han Solo. Almost like a full body picture as opposed to the like usually it's just the face and the shoulders and you can see a somewhere in the guy a half of Prince Leia's head because the other half is on the back you can see the whole picture and then that guy I don't know what his name is they threw an alt oh no wait no that got blown up I, I, I don't know I do like the packaging though the nice Star Wars uh, silver and uh, border um, Nice picture of a uh, little artwork of uh, Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia right there. Yeah, really cool. Really, uh, the package evokes a lot of the uh, original stuff. Let me see the back and, you know, uh, this little paragraph. And it's Celebrate the legendary Star Wars saga that changed the universe forever. This collection brings to life the incredible story of good versus evil that captured our imagination and took us to a galaxy far, far away. Iconic Star Wars heroes and villains are captured with incredible detail and premium features to commemorate each epic tale in the Star Wars saga. May the Force be with you. And they say that on the back of all of them, so... Kind of what it said something about the character, like, you know, the other ones did, like the Legacy Collection, and some of the Saga Legends do that, too. But, uh, see, uh, VC-42, Vintage Collection, no, figure for, for number 42, Star Wars, the Vintage Collection, this is Han Solo, another picture of Han Solo here, Han Solo, New Hope, 1977, that's when that picture, I guess, was taken, and then here's all a bunch of other figures, like, R5-D4, a clone trooper, which is, um, can't remember. It's it's an orange uh, one. So it's I, I can't remember the name of the commander that has the orange troopers. Clone Commander Cody, I think. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not I like the original trilogy more than the Clone Wars. Although I do like them both. Uh, I tend to forget the clone uh, people, the clone uh, wars, and everything. Their names. Uh, commander Gree, a stormtrooper, and a Luke Skywalker. You can see that. I am planning to get that Luke Skywalker and possibly a couple of those Stormtroopers. Um, although I do already have two Sand Troopers, as you can see, I have them posed. Uh, enough about the packaging. What you guys really care about is the figure. And being that this is the last review I did earlier, uh, here's a Han Solo, a classic uh, Han Solo pose. And the stand I use from him is from a uh, Saga Legends uh, Snow Trooper. Let me put the Storm Troopers over here on the side here. He can focus on the figure. A figure only comes with two accessories, and that is his blaster and the uh, Yavin Ceremony um, medal, which I have right here in a box. Oh. A box uh, that I made, you know, Clone Commander, and I put Star Wars stuff in. Uh, for now, here it is, and basically it just goes over his neck, and he can wear it. He can go like, "Yay, I won the medal." Well, good thing it's removable because uh, I don't really use it because uh, I don't have any of the other characters from that scene, and I really just bought this because it's a Han Solo with a vest. Unlike the Legacy Collection one that I got uh, of Han Solo, he did not come with a vest. It was uh, the Han Solo. And I believe he didn't come with a vest, I believe, because that was like the scene in the desert. Uh, that was like before he got captured. So he didn't have his vest for some reason. But it's okay. Uh, and this ain't the other, the last Han Solo I'll have. I'll probably have like four or five of them, but. Anyway, as far as articulation goes, it's pretty good. Uh, the uh, 
head is on ball joint and can be popped off if you uh, want to put like some kind of armor or something on them from other figures. His arms go full 360, they bend up and down, full 360 up here uh, on the elbow, as well as a back pretty far so he can, you can break his arm and he can go forward 90 degrees. And where the skin or his wrist uh, comes out of the glove, there is a 360 swivel. He also has a 360 waist rotation, kind of, but mine only moves side to side here, as you can see, because uh, I believe of the belt, or, or just of the way the vest is molded, but I don't really mind. Uh, he doesn't have that, that uh, torso joint, um, so that's why... Uh, that's yeah, I can just take this out. It's just a stupid box. And, um, anyway, uh, then the, the legs go forward and back. The knees rotate, uh, they bend 90 degrees and rotate 360. The ankles will rotate 360 and the feet go down and up, uh, that far. Um, uh, as far as the whole uh, traditional Han Solo look, he uh, pulls it off very well, and the uh, head sculpt is actually a much better likeness to uh, Harrison Ford than uh, the other one. It looks more like Harrison Ford to me. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, he does have his little holster. You can put his uh, blaster here in, which this is a different blaster than I've had before. You can see it fits in there right nice. You can also hold it, of course, or they give him a gun that it cannot hold. And you can hold it and blast stormtroopers, pew 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 pew, and, and you know, save all the rebels and everything and all the things that you expect Han Solo to do. Fortunately, I don't really have very many Star Wars figures here, so I can't compare with any of the other collections, because uh, any other figures in my collection. Uh, apart from like for the two stormtroopers, an Adat commander, Dengar, Zuckus, and a snow trooper. So here he is with a uh, uh, Saga Legends snow trooper, the vintage collection uh, Adat commander. He's your you know basic size. You know he's you know as tall as he should be and not as short as he shouldn't be. Um. Another size appearance. Here he is with the uh, Iron Man 2 comic series uh, Iron Man, which I believe is the armored Iron Man. I can never find out what armor that is. And then a Marvel Universe uh, Spider Man, which uh, uh, this particular one came in that two pack with Thunderbolt. As you see, they are a little bit taller. Uh, uh, it's a natural with uh, some figures. Uh, of course, Iron Man could be taller because taller you gotta count. Probably it's a guy basically in that size of that size in a suit of armor, so he's probably gonna get a little bit of height and a little bit of bulk. And I will review this uh, and the other two figures as well. Um, well, not that much to say about him. He's on, you know, he's Han Solo. Anyone that knows Clark Star Wars has at least one version of Han Solo, I'm sure. Unless you like just the. Uh, the Clone Wars, then, you know. The cartoon is what I don't really care for. I and mean, it's not that I don't like it, it's just it's not my thing. I watched the movie and saw a few episodes, and. Well, uh, it's okay. It's not as good as I, I think of the live movies and everything. Um, but, I mean. Uh, I do like the Clone Wars. Uh, not as much as the original trilogy, but I, I like the Revenge of the Sith the most, only because of, uh,. Well, actually, each episode does have their own character that I like particularly well. Uh, Phantom Menace had uh, Darth Maul. Attack of the Clones had... Somebody. I don't even think they had anyone. I think Yoda was pretty good in there, or something. I can't even remember. Mace Windu was pretty good, actually. Yeah, I liked him. Samuel L. Jackson. And uh, Revenge of the Sith was... Uh, General Grievous was my favorite, so, um, I continue to like every version of them, pretty much, uh, but I haven't really, uh, got too much into Star Wars, because as you can see, over here, 
my transformer shelf is uh, pretty much uh, in full swing, which says the bottom shelf is all the other stuff, and then, you know, stuff up there, but I'll make a video about that sometime later. Well, uh, thanks guys for watching, and uh, uh, if my uh, recommendation means anything, this figure is really cool and a perfect uh, Han Solo for your collection. And it comes with a cool little metal, so if you're like bored and playing around with him, you can make him win the special, uh, make him win the um, USA Olympics or Intergalactic Olympics or something. There you can just recreate the scene uh, from uh, the movie. I, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was A New Hope, because that's what it's advertising the New Hope. You can see right here on the back of the packaging, so I'm sure, but I, I, I don't remember. And uh, if you don't have any of those stickers that I compared him with, um, here he is next to a uh, can of cheapo spray. So, he's about, you know, your average height for a figure uh, being three and three-fourths. Three, three inches and three-fourths of an inch. So, um, thanks guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned for my uh, next uh, upcoming videos. Uh, if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you. See you guys. Bye.